So Chubb got a call from a guy who's got this particular white SUV that's not really famous. It's more like infamous. <laughs> so this is it. The OJ Bronco. <laughs> wow. It is the OJ Bronco. Are you kidding me? I've never seen anything quite like this. This is it. Well, it's not the OJ Bronco, it's his buddy's Bronco, right? That's right. It's the Bronco OJ was in the back seat of. It's sort of weird, because OJ and his friend, what was his name? AC. They both had identical Broncos, but this is the one everyone knows, this one everyone saw on television, the infamous car chase, and OJ's actually got destroyed, right? Correct. Yeah, so OJ now lives in the state of Nevada. Yeah, I don't think that's by choice. Yeah. I own the white Ford Bronco. The murders were June 12th. OJ was supposed to turn himself in on the morning of the 17th. He didn't. And that's the Bronco that everybody can remember seeing driving up the 405 freeway. I've been offered $500,000 for the Bronco. I turned it down. So here it is. I would like to be able to sell the Bronco and then take that money and give it to my children. So how did you get this thing? At the time of the Bronco chase, I was OJ's agent. Amazing. There were some people that were going to sell the Bronco to a company called, I think it's Graveline Tours, and they were going to go up and down the freeway, go by the murder site, and I just thought that'd be classless, especially since the trial hadn't started yet. So I got it from AC, and I've uh, kept it pretty much hidden for the last 22 years. OJ had an amazing football career. All of his memorabilia was worth a fortune. You know, he did movies, he did endorsements. And then in one night, it all fell apart. You know, there's like three or four things in the past, like 30 years, everyone remembers. Everyone remembers where they were at when the Challenger crashed. Everyone remembers where they were at on 9-11. Mm -hmm. And everyone remembers what they were doing when they saw the OJ chase. Exactly. And people my age remember when President Kennedy was assassinated. Yeah. Which, oddly enough, that vehicle is the second most viewed vehicle in history behind the Bronco. That is crazy. So this is like an early 90s Bronco, right? Yeah, 92. Low mileage. How many miles on it? About 36,000. So is that the same license plate that was on it when... Oh, yeah. Yeah, in fact, if you pull up photos, you'll see AC sitting here. And then this license plate, in fact, same frame holder. OK. You know, it's that weird bit of pop history. And you're looking to sell this thing. Yeah, I'd like to. Obviously, you drove it in here. It runs good, and why don't you take it for a drive? I get the back seat, and we're getting on the freeway. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't just any SUV. It's the SUV. It's the one 95 million people saw on TV doing what I'm about to do right now. Drive really slowly down the freeway. I hope the AC works. I'm sure AC had AC. <laughs> <laughs> On the phone with the police, he like negotiated, I want to go see my mom. Right. So where were you at during the chase? Oddly enough, I was behind the Bronco by about maybe 400 yards. Right behind all the cops, the helicopters. Amazing. It was very surreal. There's a glove back here. No, there's not. <laughs> Do you think OJ wore a seatbelt? I highly doubt. Yeah, he was laying down, oddly enough. He didn't really research the getaway. No. They were using his cell phone, and they just tracked him with the cell phone. Right. So AC just wanted to sell this thing as soon as all that happened? Well, where is he going to drive it, you know, because yeah. people would recognize him, and yeah. he wanted to go incognito. About to cruise on the freeway, chum. Feel that power? Yeah. yeah. See, he didn't opt for the larger motor. No. <laughs> Pretty spacious. And you've got the best seat in the house. I know. I wish I could get down on the ground and get real comfortable, but I'm too fat. <laughs> well, no, actually, as far as the old Broncos go, I mean, there's still a decent demand for them because it's a good, solid four-wheel drive right. set up. But, yeah, know? I've had people that, when I went to get gas or something, and they would say, hey, you want to sell it? Like, yeah, but it's not probably in your budget. Rick, you're going too fast. It's going 40 miles an hour. All right, well, it feels fast. I'm in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely intrigued. The problem is, putting a value on this thing is almost impossible. There hasn't been another one that is sold. I know someone would pay a ridiculous amount of money for it. But then again, value is going to be really tough. Here you go, chum. 
All right, so um, how much you want for this? A million three. Um, yeah, think about it. It's a one of a kind. You know where you were when this was on the 405 freeway. Yeah. Worldwide, more people have seen this vehicle than any other vehicle on Earth. But it's not exactly a love story. I mean, this thing, it, like I said, massively iconic car. I'll give you this, it looks amazing. You know what I mean? Rarely do you see a 92 Bronco in this shape. But it also has that bad stuff associated with it, the murders. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And now you know this isn't the one that had the blood in it. I know, I know, okay. but <sighs> that's a lot of money. OK, I could drop down to uh, 1250 <sighs> You might get that or even more at auction. I'm gonna pass on it. Okay. With something like this, it's so much of a gamble because there's nothing to compare it to its price. Right. I'll never sell the Bronco for under a million dollars. I know it's worth that. And if it's not, it will be. Well, thanks for bringing it by. Thanks for taking a ride. Okay. Appreciate it. Let's go have a glass of OJ. Not funny. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Yo, Chum, what's up, G? Is that what I think How it is? How you doing, man? Yo, look what I got, man. This is the statue OJ had poolside at his Rockingham Mansion. This piece right here sat by his poolside. So, yo, the reason why I bought this here to you is because I know that this is the place for me to get my right deal. I've been hearing about you, Chumley. You've been the man around town, bro. Your name is ringing bells like Flavor Flav. Yeah. That's Chumley right there. Oh, Chumley beat OJ, OJ beat Chumley. The reason why I'm selling this statue is because I have so much stuff at my house and I have no place for it. I'm asking for 125000 for the statue, and the way that I came up with that number is because of the value of O.J. Simpson, and I know he's worth way more than 125000 in real life. I know O.J. had just been found guilty of the double homicide by the civil court. Basically, they said, OK, we're going to liquidate your estate. So they took all O.J.'s stuff, and they put it in an auction site, and they just got whatever they could for it, and they gave all the proceeds from that to the Brown family. Wow. So this was one of them. How did you get it? I got this piece from a radio show in Chicago called Man Cow. Yeah, Man Cow, he's a DJ. Yeah, man. We went to his show one day to do an interview. So they said, Flav, Look, man, if you could take this piece home, you can have it. I'm like, wow, you're going to give me an OJ statue? So OJ went on tour for a little while. So this is not a replica? Come on, man. It's the, this is the original diamond, G. Yeah, boy. You mind if I check it out a little? Yeah, man. And you can see his number is pretty clear. 32, that's definitely the juice. He's got his football helmet. I mean, it, it looks like bronze. It looks kind of, you can see the age on it and everything. It's definitely weathered. So what do you want to do with it? I want to sell it. All right, how much are you looking to get for it? All I want, just give me 125000 for it. Whew. Um, the most I could probably do, and I'd have to verify with my boss first, but it's probably going to be seventy five, maybe be 80000 Wow. Um, I mean, and that's the best you could do for me, seventy-five to eighty thousand. That's I the think best. That's a good offer. I mean, come on, I, man, you the porn star master, G. I don't know if it's worth one hundred twenty-five. It, it could go for over a hundred at an auction, but you know, unfortunately, this ain't. So an if auction. it could go over a hundred in an the auction, then how come you won't give me one twenty-five? Come on, Flav. You know I gotta make a profit in here. I know that, man. If you get three or four OJ fans bidding it up, the sky's the limit. Yeah, I think I'll make better at auction then, man. I think you will, Because I see I ain't getting nowhere with you, <laughs> Chumley. Hey, I got to try, man. I got to uh, try. Hey, I don't fault you for trying, man. Hey, you know so why I got you here, I got to ask you, what's up with the clock, man? That's your signature thing. Yeah, man. You know, the reason why I wear this clock is because, you know, time is the most important element. And when we stop, time keeps going. All right, Chumley, man. Yo, E. Come on, man, let's get this back to the truck, man. OJ gotta go. 
All right, play. Yeah, OJ got to go, man. Yo, thank you for yeah, your time. Thank you, brother. And thank you for your patience and everything, the whole nine. Like the farmer said to the potato, I'm going to plant you now and dig you later. <laughs> that is totally for your time, all right? All Say right. bye, See OJ. You later, My pleasure. Don't cry, OJ. Don't cry. No. Hey, how's it going? All right. What do we have here? I got a football helmet signed by 28 Heisman Trophy winners. We got O.J. Simpson on there, Earl Campbell. Doug Flutie? Yeah, he's in there. I feel like I need to wear one of these things every once in a while. I have an employee. Um, his name's Chumley. He's a walking hurricane. When I'm around him, I just feel in danger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop today to sell my Heisman Trophy helmet signed by 28 Heisman Trophy winners. I bought this helmet six months ago from a gentleman here in Vegas. I couldn't pass it up. There's only 500 like it. Who wouldn't want one? I'm hoping to get $800 for my autographed helmet. Definitely cool. All right, so you got a COA from Steiner Sports Memorabilia. I don't think they're in business anymore. Um, there's limited edition of 500, so um, obviously Steiner Sports lined up 500 helmets and eventually got them all to sign them, which is really cool. I mean, it's the Heisman Trophy. So the Heisman Memorial Trophy is for the most outstanding player in college football. Okay, it's given out right before the bowl games. It's a big deal. You know what the original name of the Heisman Trophy was? No idea. The trophy started out as the Downtown Athletic Club Trophy. There was an athletic club in New York. I think it started in 1935. A year after they came out with the trophy, uh, the director of the Downtown Athletic Club passed away. His last name was Heisman. So they renamed the trophy the Heisman Trophy. So how much you want for this thing? I'm trying to get 800. OK, um, sounds like it's probably a decent number. Not only is it college football, it's also NFL. I mean, you, you got both of them there. There's a ton of people that wouldn't want to collect this thing. My problem is I don't like your COA. That company's out of business. Let me get my buddy down here. He'll take a look, make sure the signatures are good, and um, help me figure out a price, because I have no idea what it's worth. For sure. All right, I'll be right back. Heisman Trophy pose. <laughs> Got something here for you. Nice. Supposedly 28 Heisman Trophy winners. Signatures everywhere. When I think of Heisman winners, there's so many great ones, like Paul Hornick, Marcus Allen. Desmond Howard, he ended up doing the Heisman pose right before the end of the season in a game, and it still see it in highlight reels all the time. And he ended up winning the Heisman that year. He's got a cert here, but it's from Steiner, which is out of business, correct? Yeah, they're no longer around anymore. They used to do signings and stuff like that, but they kind of, you know, went out of business years ago. So the thing is, are all the signatures legit? Well, let's take a look at them. One of the most prominent running backs of all time is Barry Sanders. Nice signature. You see that same S in there? It almost is identical to that. Jay Burwanger is the first Heisman winner. And Jay's a little older here, but really nice signature. For many years, a great Raiders quarterback, Jim Plunkett. Same way crossing these T's. So all the signatures are legit? Yeah, absolutely. So what do you think it's worth? Um, quite honestly, you know, you're seeing some fading. If you take a look here, Rick, you could kind of see it for yourself. It looks like there's been some maybe direct sunlight on it for a couple years here and there. And I, and I would estimate this was probably done about 15 years ago. I would put the value of this, Rick, right about $2,500. That's wonderful. Yeah, you've got a lot of upside here. Great helmet. OK, all right. Cool, man, I appreciate it. Get that one, Rick. So you want 800 bucks? I'm thinking 1800. <laughs> I guess it was my bad by calling it Steve. Um, I, I could go 18 on it. It's one of those things. I don't know how long it's going to sit on the shelf, but um, I'm thinking more like 1200. 1600. I, mean, I got to make a living here. It's going to sit for a while. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll do, do 1400 bucks. 15. I'll do 15. I really like 14 better. How about 1480? <sighs> I'll do 1450. That's the best I'm going to do. All right, let's do it. All right, 14.50, we got a deal. Um, I'll meet you up front there, do some paperwork, I'll get you paid. Okay. I'm really happy I got rid of this helmet. I think I scored. <laughs>